Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So finally, I have my three looks one palette video for you using the Persona Identity Palette. I promised this video to you guys such a long time ago, so thank you for being patient. Uh, but we're gonna do three looks. The first look is like a very daytime, work appropriate, uh, casual kind of look. The second look is something uh, a little heavier, a little bit more pigmentation, uh, something I thought would be nice for like happy hour, a cocktail party. And then the third look is this one that you see before your eyes. This is a very smoky, dramatic eye uh, with a nude lip and something I thought that would be nice for uh, like a party, um, going out late at night or like a girls night out kind of a thing. So anyway, I hope you enjoy this video. If you're interested in taking a look at my three looks, then just keep on watching. All right, we're doing look number one right now, which is going to be like a daytime, work appropriate, the most, I don't know, the most boring look, <laughs> if you will. So I'm going to start with Humble, which is this new uh, matte shade up here in the upper left hand corner. And I'm going in with my fluffy Tom Ford number 13 blending brush. And I'm just brushing this all over the lid. It tends to be where I like to start. I know it's something you probably can't even see on camera. I really like laying down a nude eyeshadow, even if I've powdered over my concealer, which is all I have on my eyelids. I don't have a primer or anything. I just feel like if you're laying down like a similar type of powder, the other eyeshadows will blend more nicely over it. I don't know if that makes sense. And I don't even know if there's any truth to it, but it makes me feel better. And that's sort of the habit that I am in, so. Uh, I'm just gonna do that. And then next I'm gonna take this uh, Maverick color here. This is a cooler tone brown matte shade, like it's cooler than this or this, as you can tell. So I kinda wanna stick a little bit cool today. So I'm gonna go in with my Sonia G Worker 2 brush. I'm gonna pick up just a little bit. The shadows in here are very, very pigmented. And I'm just gonna start on the outside here, my outer corner, and just blend that in. And then I'm gonna go into this seductive shade, which is like a shimmer shade, and I'm gonna put that on the inner portion of my lid and blend that towards the center. And I'm taking just a flat shader. This is my Chikahoto GSN 9 brush. And I'm just blending that and bringing that towards that darker matte shade there and just blending those two together. And then finally, I'm just gonna take a Zoeva wing liner brush. This is the number 317, and I'm gonna go into this dark matte color called Fearless, and I'm going to add that to my lash line and use it as like a liner. All right, I'm just gonna soften up my lower lash line a little bit with my uh, GSN 9 brush. Just gonna smoke it out a little bit. It looks a little harsh. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the boring stuff, mascara, eyebrows, and then I'll be back to do like the rest of my face because I only have um, foundation, concealer, and powder on. I wanted to do the eye makeup first and then kind of figure out what else I want to do to uh, my face. So I will be right back. All right, so mascara and eyebrows are on. Uh, I wanted to kind of continue with this more natural daytime appropriate look. So I pulled out my Smashbox Cali Contour Face Palette and I'm gonna go ahead and use this bronzer shade over here and use my Tom Ford bronzer brush and just sort of lightly dust that all over. Just to warm up my skin a little bit. And then I'm gonna go into this beautiful nude blush shade here and just dab that onto my cheekbones. And I'm just gonna take the same brush. This is my Surratt uh, blush brush. And I'm gonna go into the highlight color here and just place that right over where I placed the blush on top of my cheekbones. And then I'm gonna take this shimmery color here. It's a darker kind of highlight. I'm just gonna very, very lightly tap this brush in, knock off the excess, and just brush that on my nose just a little bit, just for a little bit of a more healthy glow. And then to complete this everyday daytime appropriate look, I'm gonna go ahead and use my Giorgio Armani Lip Maestro in the color 202. This is a great, great nude 
lip color and it doesn't have a flat matte uh, feel or appearance, more of like a velvety matte and I just love it. So here is my final daytime work appropriate look number one using the identity palette. Let's get on to look number two. All right, so let's go ahead and start with look number two. This is something I'm kind of imagining is a little bit between day and a little bit between night, maybe great for like a cocktail party or, you know, just a party on the weekends, nothing too dramatic. So I'm going to go ahead and start again with the color Humble, which is this uh, nude color up here in the upper left hand corner. It's matte. I'm gonna go in with my fluffy blending brush and just start again by putting that all over. And I also wanna stick with some of the warmer colors in this palette. So I think I'm gonna start to build up some dimension with these two colors here, Charming and Audacious. So I'm gonna start with Charming. I'm gonna go ahead and use my Hakuhodo J5523 brush. It's like a flat shader. And I'm just going to pat that down the outer corner here and blend that in. I'm going to take another fluffy blending brush. This is the Chikahoto. They call this the blend brush. I think this is the Z10. This is like, I think their newest brush release. Anyway, I'm going to use this and go into Audacious, which is this more... Uh, like chili colored matte shade. And I'm gonna just start a little bit further in than where I put down that charming shade. And bring it over the center of my lid. I picked this brush because I just really wanted to make sure I put this down in a really light, <laughs> light uh, way in light layers, but I think this may be a little bit too fluffy. I'm gonna go back in with that color with this Chikahoto GSN 09 brush and pack that on. I am actually gonna take this blend brush, this Chikahoto blend brush, I'm gonna go back into Charming, which is this kind of mid-tone matte brown shade and very lightly, I'm going to use this to transition. I think uh, it didn't look blended enough. I'm gonna go in with another flat shader. I'm gonna use this shimmery color up here called Gold Digger. And put that on the inner corner here. Ooh, wow. and blend that towards the center. I'm gonna go ahead actually and use this uh, bossy shade down here. This is like a shimmery kind of chocolatey aubergine color. And I'm gonna use this very lightly just to deepen out this outer corner here. I feel like it's not dimensional enough. And then I'm gonna go in with a, a really small flat shader brush. I'm gonna go back into that gold digger color right here. And I'm going to line my lower lash line with this color. And then just add a bit to my inner corners here. So that's it for the palette for this look. I'm gonna go ahead and line my eyes with some eyeliner, uh, do my brows, do the rest of my face, and I'll be back to show you my completed look. All right, so I just finished up my look. I used a little bit of this Natasha Denona Dual Glow like blush. This is in the color Alba. I have that all over my cheeks, so I didn't bother with any highlight because this is a pretty glowy blush. And then I used the Clé de Peau bronzer duo, this guy right here. Just brush that kind of all over my face. And then I use the Bobbi Brown Crushed Lip Color in Bare, and I have that on my lips. So that is it for look number two. I think this is a little amped up from look number one. Again, I think this would be great for like cocktail party, dinner out, nothing too crazy. But in my next look, I'm gonna be doing something a little bit dramatic. So let's go ahead and move on to look number three. All right, so we're gonna do look number three today, which is uh, gonna be a, a really, you know, smoky kind of like evening appropriate look. And I'm gonna focus on this fearless color down here, which is this matte brown. And 
I think I'm going to throw some of this uh, goddess color in, which is this bronze. So I'm just going to jump right in with this uh, fearless color. I'm going to take my uh, Sonia G pencil two brush, which is like a chubby uh, kind of pencil brush and I'm gonna go in I'm gonna start light because I don't want to go too crazy but this fearless color this dark matte color is very very pigmented so I'm just gonna start with just a little bit on the tip there and go in I'm just gonna start right along the lash line on the outer corner and build in a little bit there and uh, blend in towards the center. But I'm gonna stay close to my lash line. I just wanna build up the color there. And I'm just using the brush and I'm just gonna go back and forth over this uh, area so that it kind of stays blended and smoked out. But we're gonna keep building this up because I want something pretty dramatic. I'm gonna pick up some more shadow and just kind of keep building I want a like a thicker area on the outer corner of my eye and I want to stay pretty uh, thin towards the inner corner here. So I'm going to keep building up on the outer corner and bring it in towards the center and then blend down into that inner corner there. I'm going to take a flat shader. I'm just going to go into this humble color here. I want to try and um, blend out that uh, top line here a little bit, help it along. And then I'm just gonna keep building up this color to get it as dark as I want with this uh, pencil two brush. I'm just gonna take the same brush and the same color and I'm gonna go along my lower lash line to smoke that out also. I'm going to take a fluffy blending brush and go into this Maverick shade and just uh, continue to kind of smoke out this top edge. I feel like now that I've done my lower lash line, I feel a little bit braver to kind of keep uh, building up the pigment on top here. So I'm just building that up along the top edge here. And then I'm going to take another fluffy blending brush, go back into this uh, humble, this light matte shade and continue blending out this top edge here. I'm gonna take my uh, Surat shadow brush and go into this color Goddess, which is this metallic shade, and place that onto the center of my lid. Give it a little pop. I'm gonna take this pencil two brush, I didn't add any more shadow onto it, and I'm just going to blend the top of that goddess shade out. I'm gonna take a little teeny tiny eyeshadow brush. I'm gonna go, and I'm gonna go into Sassy and place that my inner corners. And then for this look, I definitely need to put on some false lashes. So I have my Eyelore Naturals number 31. So I'm gonna go ahead and put those on and some mascara off camera and I'll be right back. All right, eyelashes and mascara is on. I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows also while I'm at it. And I'm gonna use my Sicily 3-in-1 Brow Architect. This is the darkest color that I have and I figured that would work best for this kind of dark eye. So I'm just gonna go ahead and fill in my brows. This pencil is very, very soft, so you have to have a very light touch but it does blend out with the spoolie very nicely if you feel like maybe you went in a little too heavy-handed. So there are my brows. Next I'm going to go ahead and use, this is brand new to me, this is the Becca Gradient Sunlit Bronzer. I have it in the shade Sunrise Waves and I picked this up during the Sephora sale and this I thought would be nice for kind of like an all-over cheek situation. When I do a smoky eye, I think I'm going to do like a nude lip. I don't really like a bright cheek. I kind of want, I don't know, I kind of feel like I want the focus on my eyes. So I'm going to go ahead and use my Tom Ford bronzer brush and I'm just just going to dip my brush into this whole thing here. Wow, that is very pigmented. I sometimes forget how soft like the Becca powders are and I go in a little bit too hard. And then I'm gonna use my new Tom Ford uh, Boys and Girls lip color. This is in Ava, number 29. This is a sheer lip color. I'm wondering if I should put maybe some concealer down. 
uh, to kind of like blank out my lips first. Let me do that actually. Let's try that. I'm just gonna take some of my Clay de Peau Radiant Corrector uh, for eyes. Wow, really shows off how dry your lips are. Then I'm gonna go in with Ava. So there, there is my final look for look number three using the uh, Persona Identity Palette. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I promised you guys this video such a long time ago. Thank you guys so much for being patient, but I hope you enjoyed it. So give this video a thumbs up if you did. Please comment down below if you have any questions. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video.